What's going on Rockstars? It's your boy Samson X here. Question. Are you a man that's had a crush on a girl for a long, long time, but don't know how or when to pull the trigger, but when you actually do and she rejects you, you go into a horny rage and shoot up your school? Then you might be an r slash nice guy. And that's exactly what we're taking a dive into today. I've never taken a dive into anything like this before, so I don't know what's ahead of us. You don't know what's ahead of us. So let's just dive on in and let's get it. Okay, so the first post says, my sister rejected him and he tagged her in this picture. Black women be like, ah, he too nice. I work? Nah, he too lame. Nah, he too weird. He too nerdy, man, corny. But yeah, real daddy, I want to have his baby. There ain't no real man out here. I can't believe he left me pregnant. Ain't shit. So, a question for you, my guy, if you so happen to watch this. Do you think the fact that this girl rejected you has anything to do with the fact that you probably post like this on your Facebook on a regular basis? I don't know, man. I don't know you personally, but I'm just taking a wild guess and I'm going to say the guys that post like this probably post it quite often and that's a turn off. It goes without saying. And someone asked OP in the comments, does the man look anything like those guys in the picture? And then the guy said no. So. Yo, know, my guy, you gotta reevaluate some stuff, man. Give me a chance to show you how good of a guy I really am, and you'll change your mind. Hey, there's no easy way to say this, but I think we should cancel our date tomorrow. I only agreed to go because Lynn kept asking me over and over, but I'm not really interested in pursuing a relationship with you, and I don't think that's fair to you or your time. I hope you can forgive me. You seem like a cool guy. You'll, you'll definitely find someone who's a much better fit than me. Uh... I don't mind, we can still hang out if you want or just mess around, you know, no strings attached. Sorry, no, I really don't think that's a good idea. I hope you'll find someone who's into you too, dude. I knew you were Well, I dodged the bullet. You're gonna die alone! Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Look, I'm a really nice guy, I swear. People keep using me or ignoring me, so I, 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 you know, I get defensive. Please just give me a chance. Look, you're, you're so pretty and nice. Please respond. We can go wherever you want, I'll pay. Please, please respond, you're so pretty. Don't leave me like everyone else does. I, I hate myself so much, just give me a chance to show you uh, how good of a guy I, can really, I, can, I really am, you look, uh, you'll change your mind. Look, do you not think perhaps that begging and that pleading and acting like a needy five year old just dries women up like the Sahara? Look, you know, it's just food for thought. Look, as harsh as it is, this is why you need to get out there in life and let life kick your ass because these are the things that will toughen you up. And it's it's very obvious to me that you're having because the way that you're talking, it's it just blows my mind, the fact that you think you, as a grown adult, can talk to another grown adult like that, let alone the woman that you're interested in. Just blows my mind, man. So that's your riz? That's your riz. Okay, just checking. All right, look, I'm gonna explain why women don't like nice guys. It's not. Women like arseholes instead of nice guys. It's women are attracted to personality traits and nice is not one. Not really. Nice just means not an arsehole. People aren't attracted to nice because it doesn't mean anything. People are attracted to funny, witty, sweet, thoughtful, compassionate, interesting. Nice ain't a personality trait. It's a default setting. The bare f yeah. minimum. If all you bring to the table is nice, you're f boring, mate. And if you have to tell people you're nice, you're probably not as nice as you think you are. For example, if you think women owe you sex over someone else because of your perceived niceness, you're a giant bag of f Preach! Woo! Preach! To the people in the back, preach! I didn't think we'd see any common sense so early on, man, because, you know, I just thought we was going to see stupidness upon stupidness. Don't worry, there is more stupidness coming. I know you like stupidness, right? But I didn't think we'd see this so soon. And it is nothing more than the truth. You know, nothing is, is truer. Because at the end of the day, if all you bring to the table is nice, then where are you going, right? Because 
everyone and their mother can see that you just want to f*** her. You feel what I'm saying? Even she can see. It's obvious. Everyone can see that you have, you know, romantic interest in this girl and you're being led around by your own <laughs> and you think that being nice is the answer, right? When everyone can see that you're wearing a mask of niceness. You know, women don't like to be put on pedestals. Well, maybe some do. You got some like serious money making gold diggers out here, but phew, that's neither here nor there. But majority of women don't like being put on pedestals. Majority of adults don't like being put on pedestals, right? We're all just humans, because I'll tell you something, you know, from my experience, right, I'm not tooting my own horn, and I've been told many, many times that I'm an attractive person. There was this one specific situation where this woman, she kept telling me how good looking she thought I was, and she kept, you know, once was all right, twice was okay, but she kept doing it over and over and over and over and over again, and I just thought, you know, we can talk about something else. Do you get what I'm saying, lady? You know, we can talk about something else. Just, you know, stop. Just stop it, man, just chill. Chill, right? We're all humans. Yes, some of us might have, you know, romantic interest in others. And just, just don't be a dweeb about it, man, is what I'm saying. Don't be a dweeb about it. Live your life and express your interest like a normal person. Let's move on. <laughs> Watch this if you're a nice guy. Why do girls always date less attractive guys? Right, so let me just school you on something I've noticed, a pattern I've noticed, right? So us men, right? When we look for another partner, when we look for a female partner, basically, we look with the eyes first and then go for the personality second. I don't know, it's just in our nature, right? That's that's all I'm saying. It's just male nature, like, we look at the eyes, which is why a lot of women present themselves in an attractive way and they put in effort. I mean, obviously, you do it for yourself, but you do it, let's not lie, right? You do it to attract the opposite sex too, it's called peacocking. I do it, we all do it, let's be honest. But when women look for partners, ladies, you can correct me if I'm wrong, right? But I've noticed that they they look for a partner with the ear first. They they listen to what men are saying, then they go with the eyes second. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying is like, if you're a good looking guy, that's a bonus. But if you're just a boy, if you're just a plank of wood, then you know you can get your foot in the door, but you can't get any further than that. Is what I'm saying. So basically, what I'm saying is is if all you can bring to the table is your looks and you ain't got no personality, then you won't get very far. You know, it's even the other way around too, believe it or not, because I think if all a woman brings to the table is her looks, but not much else, then we're not going very far. Simple as that. The amount of bullying I have to go through every day from men on the internet is insane. Every day I'm told to kill myself or other hurtful things just for being a woman empowered by her body and simply existing on the same planet as these so-called men and it's gotten so much worse. And the men that don't do this always get overlooked by women because women always go for the bad boy and moan about the man. You know, I promise, I promise, all guys don't do that. All guys are not the same. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. Pick me, pick me, please pick me. Bro, man, your desperation is pissing me off. Your desperation is pissing me off. Everyone can sense it. Right, it's giving me a cluster headache, and it's giving all the women out there cluster headaches too. All the other men can sense it too, your mum can sense it, your dad can sense it, even the, the nits in your hair can sense it, man. Get help. It's really not fair the motherfuckers will throw women down the stairs and beat them do better than me. <gasps> well hey, them people might be psychopaths, but they're at least charming, you can give them that, right? Bro, if you're not getting results, Time and time again, you have to look at you. You have to look inward, right? If it smells like <laughs> everywhere you go, you gotta check your own shoes. You feel me? Oh, okay, this next one's lengthy, man. <clears throat> okay, want to maybe date then? What? You want to maybe date? I'm just very lonely. Oh, pets your head. But I meant in real life. Okay. You want to date? No, I'm good. Oh, oh, <laughs> be still, my beating heart. Sorry, buddy. Uh, why not? Because I'm not interested. Oh, of course not. Yeah, 
I'll just go. Sorry, buddy. That's what everyone says. I hate my <laughs> life. I know you'll find someone soon, but I'm not responsible for your happiness, by the way. Again, what I've been told for the past three <laughs> years in my life. And I'm <laughs> suicidal. So that does not help me at all. Again, I'm not responsible for your happiness. Can you please get me a girlfriend? How? How the hell am I supposed to get you a girlfriend? Ask girls if they want to date a nice guy. Oh god, oh god, I never thought of that in my life. <laughs> I'll find one for you. Huh? What are you talking about? A nice guy. I am though. I'm just a good person. Sure you are. Well, I donate to charity, I go to church, I'm very polite, I give to the homeless and stuff like that. Of course you do. I do. Yeah. Why don't you believe me? Because it seems like you just want to get in my pants. No, I'm honest. And I'm honest of how I'm definitely not interested. <laughs> it's whatever. Well, like I said, when the desperation is obvious, I can smell it. <sighs> oh, stinks, man. Everyone can see you want to f*** her. And that's fine, right? Just be honest at the end of the day. Maybe don't put it like that, but say what you want. If she says no, oh well, get on with your life, right? I'm sure there's going to be someone out there that wants to do that with you. You get what I'm saying? So, there you go. Make it make sense. And we're going to take a look at the final post for today. So, let's see what we got. I also like wandering around malls. You know, just haven't tried antique malls. <laughs> um, I like hiking. You know, friends as well, socializing at, at the bar, just having a good time. I enjoy music and concerts. You should definitely try it. I like hiking and music as well. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, like, what do you want to know about someone before meeting them? I swear I'm not a serial killer. Yet. Does that line usually get you anywhere? If you're looking to terrify women or potential dates on here, then you're definitely going in the right direction. Well, I assure you, sweetie, I'm not one. And I'm the opposite of whatever you currently think of me. If not, I can send you a list of female references. Besides, the chances of meeting a serial killer is very low. But the chances of meeting a great guy named Chuck is very incredibly high. So you just have to have some faith and you will be calmly rewarded. So, so, you're now gonna meet someone just because of one bad joke? Well, sweetie, you're hitting the wall. You're 28. Not every man is going to be perfect. I hope you come to realize that one day. Take care and I wish you the best. That's your race? That, that, that. That's your race. That, that, that's how you pick up women. Right? That, that's your game. Alright, just checking. Good luck out there on the dating market, mate. Good luck out there on the date, you market. You're certainly gonna need it. You know, it just goes to show, right? Like, people like that are so sheltered. Because if you don't have enough social cues to know the answer, and you genuinely think that making stupid <coughs> jokes like that will win a woman over, then I don't know for you, man. You're lost. I'll be so real with you. You, you are, you're done for, man. You need to know the certain things you say that you either can or can't say. Do you get what I'm saying, like, and, you're not that guy and you can't get away with stupid jokes like that, especially with someone you don't even know, right? Like, it just blows my mind the lack of social skills and the lack of social cues. Some people have to even say stuff like that. I mean, you know, it's good for us because, you know, entertainment, right here, right now, entertainment. But, you know, for, for the people that are on the, on the receiving end of it, that awkward silence, wow, I don't know, man. The only thing I can leave you with is, if you're a nice guy, right? If you claim to be nice, right? And you, you lack social skills. First of all, get some goddamn social skills, man. Right? Because you'll go far. Second of all, don't be nice to get what you want out of life. Because it never works out. When you try and be nice to get what you want, people can see right through you, right? They can see your mask falling off partially. And it just it ain't a good look, man. Right? And um, I can't really think of anything else to say right now. So if you guys have got anything else to say, leave it down below in the comments. And with that, it's a wrap. So 
go ahead and follow my Instagram at SamsonXTheGuy. Anything you could send me, go ahead and slide into the DMs. Go ahead and follow your boy on TikTok at the same name. Go watch my funny little shorts. Any serious inquiries, go ahead and hit on my email, which you can find linked down below. And if you want to tell me to go f myself, then put it down below in the comments. That's what they're there for. And until next time, hang loose.